Hey Glam Dolls, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are all fabulous today. Um, I'm going for a new look today, if you can't tell. Um, this is going to be the first of my Halloween looks for this season. And since I got my roots done and went back to being the blonde bombshell that I am, I decided to start it off with the Bride of Chucky today. Uh, Jennifer Tilly is one of my idols. She is a bad bitch. And Tiffany, Chucky's wife, is a bad bitch as well. And she takes the peroxide bottle blonde to the legendary status. So, since I am also a um, bleach fake blonde, just like them, and I am fabulous and a boss as well, I decided I'm going to invoke Miss Tiffany for my Halloween costume. As a matter of fact, this is actually what my actual costume is going to be this year. So, I'm going to do the tutorial on how to transform into Miss Tiffany, what is Chucky's last name? Mrs. Chucky, basically. Bride of Chucky. I don't even know what Tiffany and Chucky's last name is. But she's the Mrs. of the two. And they are like the doll modern day Bonnie and Clyde, if you will. So, that's what we're doing today. And uh, before we jump into that, I uh, just want to let you guys know and remind you, in case you haven't been around my channel at all in the last couple of weeks but we do have an amazing giveaway going on right now and it is the morphe bundle giveaway and i am giving away everything you see in this picture right here so it's going to be that morphe bundle giveaway it is the new 35M Boss Mood Palette, which I did a tutorial on my last video if you want to see um, the review on that. I will link that for you as well. And it also includes two pairs of eyelashes, a Morphe liquid lipstick, and the um, amazing setting spray by them. One of their highlight contour beauty sponges, basically their, their version of the beauty blender. And last but not least, an eye primer to lay down all your new eyeshadows with. So I am uh, gonna stop rambling and let's go ahead and get into this look. Okay, darlings, first we're gonna start with our foundation. I'm using the Lancome Taunt Idol mixed with the Derma Blend pigments in like the lightest color they have just to make this very fair because she is a doll and she looks like a porcelain doll and if you've ever seen Miss Jennifer Tilly she's very fair skinned so I want to be as fair skinned as possible so I'm just blending that out and then with the concealer I'm going to do kind of the same thing I'm going to mix my Sephora make no mistakes with a little bit of derma blend just to make it really really white as I can I want to make it lighter than the foundation and I'm just going to blend that out and pat it in the center of my face just to kind of highlight a little bit the center of my face to make it a little bit lighter. And then to set my face I'm going to use the Morphe Translucent Setting Powder. Um, it, it looks like it may give a little bit of kick or a flashback but I really like the way this sets my face and for uh, bronzer I'm going to use the Natasha Denona sculpting powder um, just really towards the edges of my face I'm not bringing it in as much as I normally would and I'm going in very very light-handed again because she is a doll and she is very very fair but I need a little bit of dimension and I'm also going to use my Natasha Denona contour palette and just contour my cheeks and try to um, give myself that dramatic doll look that doll contour where her cheeks are really sucked in if you see Jennifer Tilly's face she's got that perfect contour to her face and the perfect cheekbones and they're really big and really high and though I do have big high cheekbones myself I want them really defined and for highlight I'm using the sleek solstice palette and mixing those two colors 
basically because this is like one of the lightest ones I have. Now, the doll doesn't really highlight a lot, so I went in light-handed. And I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush because this is the perfect pink for that dolly pink. And now for eyebrows, I'm using this black gel liner um, that I got in my BoxyCharm a couple months ago. And her eyebrows are very, very thin. So it kind of worked out that I have like little to no eyebrow. So I'm just going on really, really thin, norm more than I normally would. And I'm actually even going thinner than what my natural eyebrow is. Luckily... Mine, I went over it with powder and concealer, so you won't even be able to really tell. Um, and then I'm just cleaning them up with some concealer and going over it, so hopefully you can't tell that I've got a bunch of hair poking out. And I'm going to set that with the Morphe 35M palette in the highlight color that's in there. Um, after I got everything on, you couldn't even really tell uh, that the eyebrows were a little gatch, but that's all right. Now I'm going to go in with this reddish pinkish color as the transition color and lightly blend that into the crease. By the way, these colors blend out amazingly. And now I'm going to go in with the black in this palette. And this black is so freaking good, you guys. As you can see, I didn't even lay down a primer for it. And it goes on jet black. It went on so amazing. So I'm just patting that on my eyelid and then blending it out. And now I'm going to go in just to add a little highlight to it. I'm using the shimmery black that's in there and just popping that in the middle of the eyelid as well. And then I'm going to blend that out. We wanted that super smoked out eye for this look. So I'm taking that same pink again and just really like smoking that underneath my bottom lash line and then taking the black um, on a smudger brush and just sweeping that across my eye, lower lash line and then I'm going to smudge that out as well. And now I'm going to take that same black liner um, that I used and put that in my waterline and across my top waterline as well. And then I'm also going to, since I have it out, create the little mole that she has right above my lip. And I used to have my Marilyn pierced years ago, so I just went where I used to have it pierced. And I'm going to go back to my eyes in a little bit, but I'm going to use uh, my ABH lip palette and use the black that's in there. And line the outer part of my lips really, really thick, and you'll see why in just a minute. Now I'm going to take the red that's in there and put that on the remaining part. And I'm not creating an ombre lip. What I'm gonna do is mix these two together. And that's what I'm doing, just taking my finger and mixing them together to create like this black cherry, which is one of the lipsticks she wears in one of the movies. And it looks so freaking hot. As a matter of fact, I may actually wear this color throughout like the rest of October because I just loved the way it looks. I love a good bold lip. And now I'm going to take the It Cosmetics um, Superhero Mascara. It's okay. Um, we got it in BoxyCharm this month and I'm just using that to coat my lashes before I put my lashes on. And of course, I'm using Hollywood Hills by Morphe, my favorite lashes at the moment. And just popping those on for a bit more of a dolly dramatic look since we are recreating ourselves as a doll. And last but not least, we need to create the tattoo that she has. Now, mine came out so horrible, but... I need practice anyway for my actual Halloween costume because this is what I'm going to be. Um, I just did an outline of a heart and I wish I would have did it in marker first. And then I'm going to fill it in with the ABH lipstick because they're so drying that I figured this is the most drying one I have so it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm doing one coat first and then I'm going to let it dry and I'll come back to it in a little bit after. And she has a dagger that's coming out of the heart. And again, I was using an eyeliner and I really, really wish I would have used a marker, which I'm going to go ahead and do next time. Um, because trying to do it with my felt tip liner, I kept screwing it 
up. It was horrible and I couldn't get the straight lines I wanted and I'm looking at it at a really weird angle. It was just such a mess. Um, so this isn't as neat as I like, but oh well, it's Halloween, whatever. And now I'm just going back and doing the second coat on the heart as well with um, the red lipstick. And now I'm creating little uh, blood drops. There's one big blood drop that comes out of the heart and it's like attached to the heart, but I didn't like the way it looked when I started to do it. So I just ended up doing um, these little drops coming from the heart. So it doesn't have to be exactly the exact way the doll has it. Uh, you know, it can be inspired by and still be okay. And I'm just filling those in with the red liquid lipstick. And the red liquid lipstick actually ended up being a great choice. It didn't move. And apparently it didn't film when I wrote in Chucky, but that's okay. And this, my dears, is my Halloween costume. I have always wanted to be Bride of Chucky, so I definitely took advantage of while my hair is platinum blonde. And I just love the way it came out, and I'm glad I did it. So that way, when Halloween comes, I know what to do and what not to do. So I hope you guys like this. Stay tuned. I have Halloween looks coming all weekend. And don't forget to get entered into the giveaway. Love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow.